So the tribute hall has left 99% of us broke due to the tributes from the Visage of Callus costing us all our vital materials. Today I bring you an exploit to get super easy materials and best of all people, it works most efficient when you are AFK. Bonus. How is it going guys, my name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out and subscribe if this is what you want to see more of. Okay, so this method is old and the more people that do use and abuse it, the faster I believe Bungie will patch it. So this video is basically a reminder for those that knew about it already and if you didn't know about this, get to work and use it while you can. It allows you to farm planetary materials which in turn can result in shards, cores and so much more. And best of all, it works when you are AFK. So how does this work you are wondering? While the forges it seems are right now, it matches you with players that have around your power level, and that's what we want here. But if your power level is that of around 750, it will match you up with other players around this level who are no doubt trying to actually complete forges. That isn't what we want. We want to match up with fellow people using this exploit, other AFK players looking for easy materials. So by you lowering your power level to that of something below 500, one, you'll be matched up with others that are around that level, and two, you will stand no chance in actually completing these forges even if you tried. So either way guys, as soon as that one minute time move is done, you are rewarded planetary materials and the match then searches for another game. And you just rinse and repeat this. And this all happens guys when you are asleep or at work or at school. The game literally farms materials for you. Now don't get it twisted, this farm is only good because it works while you are AFK. You and I both know we could 100% farm materials much quicker while playing. That isn't what's good about this. Now I've worked out that you get roughly 4 planetary materials every 2 minutes depending on platform and load times, 2 minutes being the longest. So roughly for an hour of doing this while AFK, you will get around 120 planetary materials. If you have a ghost shell which has a pair kind of let's say EDZ scanner or Nessus scanner or so forth, using those in conjunction with the planets to the forge you are farming, you will up your planetary material gains by 1, meaning you will get 5 per run. If you do this all night, let's say for 10 hours, you will earn 1200 planetary materials, 1500 with a scanner perk on your ghost. And all of this happens people while you are AFK, while you are sleeping, working, studying, doing whatever you want. And because games are so short, you never get kicked to orbit for abusing this. Now to lower your power level, you obviously need to wear low power gear. If you don't have any Eververse armors in your vault, or any other old white gear like I have lying around in your vaults, you can always purchase the items from Hawthorne within the tower and equip that. That is perfect for this. Now with 1500 materials for 10 hours of AFK farming, imagine said planetary engrams you can purchase, all turn into shards, cores and so much more when you dismantle them. So this farm is definitely worth it that is for sure and I'd use it while you can because the more popular this gets, the quicker they will patch it. Now the planets with forges are an R, EDZ and Nessus and these planets offer you data lattice which is from Nessus and dust light shards from the EDZ. So those are what you can farm at the moment. Now obviously all your materials that you do farm will go to your post master and they stack up to 999 per slot. So 20 slots of 999, basically just under 20,000. Well yeah people it is as simple as that, lower your power level to below 500, load up any forge, put your controller down and let the game do the work for you. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new and here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.